Hi, Greg from GreatDrams.com here, and today I'm actually having a quick look at two whiskies side by side. The Glengoyne Teapot Dram, uh, batch 4 and batch 5. So they've been released over the last two years. Teapot Dram, of course, you know, they can do it much better than I. Uh, until the 1970s, Glengoyne workers enjoyed a thrice daily dram uh, that flat flowed from a bashed copper teapot in the distillery canteen. Recreated by men with a vague recollection, nice, of those days, our tribute is teeming with brown sugar, sweet fruits and soft spices. And this in its lovely copper foil labelling, which I always love, um, has been a, a mainstay for their kind of annual releases over the last five years. And really does hark back to a time when near enough every distillery did this. So if you were of legal drinking age, or LDA, um, which we refer to in the industry, um, or above, you could queue up three times a day, happen on Isla with Lefroy, um, not so sure about Ardbeg, but definitely Lefroy, and you could claim your free dram. Um, normally it was really rough, raw, straight from a cask, and some of the distilleries uh, actually used it as an informal, um, uh, what do you call it, focus group, um, to find out which were the better ones. These were rolled off for use in single malts or single cask releases, releases many years down the line. And the ones that were not so well enjoyed, potentially, were discreetly and informally rolled off to be blended away elsewhere. Anyway, so batch four first. As I say, it's, you know, brown sugar, burnt sugar, actually stunning. And if memory serves, this has been in, yes, first fill Oloroso casks, uh, both of them, um, unspecified amount of time. But from the nose, I'm instantly getting a boost, an absolute power. Uh, punch of uh, the Oloroso here. Lots of dark fruits, lots of toffee, lots of that burnt sugar they spoke about. Very, very sweet. But beautiful spices underneath. Like really, like nosing a, a very boozy Christmas cake. Oh, I could spend ages with that. And the ABV is quite challenging on both of these because they're at past strength. So 58.7 for the four batch four and 59.6 for the batch five. Um, and one of these, the batch four, actually bought in the distillery last year whilst uh, doing my own blending of uh, single malt from uh, Glen Goyne as one of their distillery experiences. Phenomenal. If you get a chance, please do. And ask for Ali, absolute diamond of a chap and one of their best tour guides. Lovely sweetness still. Mm. Palette just explodes with all those dark fruits and an underlying kind of back of the tongue sweetness. It just keeps everything in check, but at the same time has lots of they have cinnamon and white pepper and cayenne spices just kind of bubbling away in amongst all of those different fruits. Ooh, really nice whiskey. <clears throat> now, batch five, very similar on the nose, very a bit softer actually, despite the higher ABV, a lot more uh, kind of burnt sugar, spun sugar actually more than burnt sugar on this one, very, very sweet, very sweet, like stewed dark fruits this time, um, not as much on the Christmas cake side. Like where all their juices just kind of ooze out and all mix together and form this lovely kind of cacophony of fruity flavours. Mm. Not sure, but this might be a little bit younger. Or the, uh, the wood must have been a little bit more potent. It's getting a really sharp pang of, uh, of fresh oak um, uh, kind of flavours and notes there. A lot of oak coming through, marrying with those fruits. Um, and this one is a bit more of a challenge on the tongue and in the throat of this ABV. But at the same time, oh, absolutely delightful. I think if I was to choose, I would choose batch four over batch five, but both, stunning. Excellent. If you get a chance to go to the distillery, or I think it's on their website, the batch five right now. I don't know when this is going out, so if not, apologies. Batch six will be there soon. But if you go to the distillery, they normally keep a ton of the bottles there. So buy yourself one, have a bloody good experience, and say hi to Ali for me. 
Cheers. Until next time. Bye.